What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach Desjardins and I'm an owner and operator of a small HVAC company based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Now today's video is a continuation of the Riverside project. Now I'm back out here today, we got everything wrapped up, everything's running, everything tests out well, but I wanna show you guys how everything turned out. I'm super pumped on how this job turned out. I think it looks super good, it's operating very well. So let's go check out the indoor unit of the first system. Okay, so I think this turned out really well. We have it suspended with the Unistrut and the all thread. Uh, let's see here. So as you can tell, we have the April Air four inch filter media there. Um, drain line, secondary. This is the way I like to do my drains. So we'll come off the primary, of course. Um, I like to put a union here so you can easily take that loose if you need to. Um, so there's really no need to put a clean out on that side. And then, you know, here's a vent just in case. I mean, the drain line is pretty short, so it's not a big deal, but I put one on there just in case. Um, so there's no, I don't put a switch in the actual drain itself. I just put one here in the secondary. That way, if the internal pan starts to fill up, that switch is going to cut it off and then it shouldn't go anywhere else. We do have one and down here in the pan as well, if you can see that. So just in case the pan does fill up with water for whatever reason, it'll shut the system down as well. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this down here. I think it turned out really well and um, everything is operating perfectly. Now I did mention to the customer that the duct system really wasn't in good shape. So I wanted to get that replaced since we're doing all this work and they decided to go ahead and do that. So we're actually gonna come back once they finish the construction on the inside of the, the remodel process. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna actually replace the main trunk, all the flex lines. Um, I don't like how they did this return. I think it's too small. The uh, static pressure was reading a little high. so. We're gonna go ahead and get all of the return duct replaced, all the supply duct, and it'll be a brand new system. So let's go out here and check out the outdoor unit. So we utilized the existing power from the package unit that used to sit up there. I built this stand out of Unistrut, which turned out amazing, really love. It's super sturdy. Um, yeah, I think it turned out great. The unit's not running right now. It's actually satisfied inside. But these units are super quiet. I mean, you could stand right here. You can hear them run, but I mean, they're, they're very quiet. I, I really love these systems so far. You know, um, only time will tell, obviously, on the durability, that sort of thing. But so far, everything seems like it's well built. And I'm very pleased with them. So I'm going to continue to use them. All right, so on the other system there, that was a three-ton condenser with a three-ton air handler. Now on this side of the house, we have a three-ton condenser with a two-ton air handler. So if you didn't know, on these Bosch systems, they only make a three-ton and a five-ton condenser. And then on the air handlers, you can get a two-ton or three-ton or a four-ton or a five-ton. So depending on the airflow that you need, you wanna size the air handler to that but then you have the condenser, it's gonna be a three ton or a five ton. So uh, obviously anything that's gonna be um, four ton or five ton, you connect to a five ton condenser. Anything that's gonna be a two ton air handler or a three ton air handler, connect to the three ton air handler. I mean, sorry, connect to the three ton condenser. So anyway, this one's got a three ton condenser with a two ton air handler. Uh, let's go check this one out. All right, so this one is gonna be back here in this closet. Now what we're gonna do the contractor is replacing this door with a louvered door, so that way they can shut this. And it's just open to the hallway here. You got, you know, bedrooms here, area over there as well. So the return will flow through here just fine. Now here is the closet. So again, this is a two-ton air handler. And the piping goes directly outside. And the condenser is right on the opposite side of this wall. On this one, since we have a basically a free air return through this closet, 
I just got a return box. I put a filter on all th three sides. So left side, right side, and the front. And as you can see, I've got the April Air four inch filter right below the air handler. So we're gonna have good filtration there. Again, same situation. I have a secondary um, switch there. On this side, since it's so close to the wall, I didn't do a union and I did do a, a clean out there as well. So, you know, things change depending on the application, but overall it's pretty much the same. Got the overflow drain pan. There's a switch down there in the pan just in case. So yeah, I think this turned out really good. Um, customer wanted to put the thermostat in here. So I just basically just, as you can tell, put a four by four box there. Got the April Air thermostat. I really like these thermostats. They're very simple, but they've worked very well for me. So can't complain with those. Um, but that's pretty much it. I do put electric heat in these air handlers just in case. Make sure the wiring is adequate for that as well. I'd rather have it and not need it. Um, these, these variable speed systems are actually designed where they can <clears throat> run at full capacity not necessarily full capacity. I think they lose around 20 or 30% all the way down to like uh, zero degree outdoor ambient. So, I mean, that's plenty for Tennessee. But anyhow, I got the electric heat in there just in case. But that pretty much wraps up the inside portion. Um, we just ran the duct up into the attic and then there's a, a trunk line up there. So I think this turned out really good. It's really clean, simple looking. So... Very pleased with it. So let's go outside and check out the condenser. So if you guys remember from the first video, there was a ductless unit that went in above there. Line sets came down and ran all the way across. We removed all of that, just capped that off for now. The GC is gonna uh, fix that siding up there. Anyway, so the line sets went all the way around here and this is where the condenser was located. So here we go. Again, this is a three ton condenser tied into a two-ton air handler inside. But just like the other one, on any of these variable speed systems, you wanna make sure you put a surge protector. Just, you know, always wanna do that. So protect your system. That's pretty much it. I mean, I think everything turned out really nice. Um, really clean looking. That's pretty much it, guys. Everything turned out really nice. Super pleased with these systems. I'll be definitely continuing to use these in the future. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the video for today. I hope you enjoyed this job, the way it turned out. I'm super pleased uh, with the system, uh, with the way they turned out. Really like it. So I hope you guys like the way it turned out as well. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. I actually ran into Cody with BNR Heating and Air. He's next door doing some work. Uh, so we got to hang out, chit chat for a minute. It's cool meeting you, Cody. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. I'm gonna go do some measuring on that duct system downstairs, get a material list going for that. But other than that, I'm about to head out of here and head home. Really appreciate you guys watching. Hit that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later. Woo!